Hello to all my neat aspirants. So today I am here not with any subject related content but yes with very very important information. See students, everybody is somewhere or the other guiding you that okay prepare in this way for the neat examination, read this book, do that, do this but nobody is telling you that what not to do as a student if you are preparing for your neat examination. So today I am here to discuss my own personal experience as a student that what he or she should not do, the mistakes that should be avoided by the students who are preparing for the competitive exam. See, every time I come on your channel to discuss some subject related information but I also feel that as a teacher I should also guide my students I should also tell them that okay this is a time to do this thing this is a time not to do this thing so as I told you today we are going to discuss the problems which is generally faced by the students and the mistakes which they usually commit so all the things which I have to speak today is already written on your screen. You can already read them. And let me tell you one thing student. These all things which I have written, I have actually taken from my own personal past experience when I was also a student like you and preparing for some or the other competitive exams. Correct? So number one thing you see for specifically students who are preparing for NEET should not avoid NCRT books. Now students, you must be in school, you must be a dropout, you must be in some or the other college, maybe. But everybody is guiding you, okay, read this publication book, read that publication book, this stuff is important, this stuff is important. Everybody is telling you something. And in this race, somewhere your NCRT gets neglected. Student, remember one thing. If you are preparing for your NEAT examination, NCRT is the Bible beta. It's like a mythological book for you. So students, you know, do you understand the importance of mythological books? See, every day your mother and father... They go to temples, they go to church, they go to Gurudwara, they read their mythological book on daily basis. Why? Because it is something very spiritual. It connects them to the God. Similarly, this NCRT book is going to connect you to the medical college, your dream colleges. Consider this as a mythological book and make sure that you read them on daily basis Practice them on daily basis. No need to avoid them. It's not that, okay, I'll read this book, that book. And you're reading everything. But you're not reading the main content. So don't do that mistake, which is very, very prime. Again, the second point related to the first point says, just focusing on only one subject. See, I have seen so many students who are just focusing on one subject, maybe physics. Ma'am, physics is so tough. Ma'am, I'm not able to solve the numericals. Okay, whole day, six to seven hours, they are giving to one subject and ignoring the other three or other two. Irrespective of realizing that if physics is going to give you uh, maybe suppose X number of marks, then the other subjects are also going to offer you the same number of marks. Now, because you are focusing on simply one subject and ignoring the other three, so there are high chances that all those extra set of marks which you could have scored, but now since you did not focus, you did not study them well, you will lose them. Right? So please, all the four subjects, physics, chemistry, botany, zoology, all these four are equivalently important for you. Each subject is going to give you same number of marks. Each question carries same number of marks. It's not like if you do one subject maximally, ignore the three, then you can 
cross this neat examination wall no to climb the wall to go to the other side of the wall you have to use all the four subjects as your weapon no need to keep any of the weapon aside all the four weapons should always be there on your back while you are climbing this neat wall correct will you remember the second point also and will not commit this mistake on focusing of one subject yes ma'am very good next studying unnecessary stuff this is very very important students i have seen so many people studying again this that thing uh, from this institution from that institution everything they want to study it's good but beta why to study the things which are not related to your syllabus why to go in such depth when it is not required see you already have four subjects to deal in with so and time is limited yes or no everybody just have 24 hours in a day and you have so many subjects to study in each subject there are so many lessons then why not to do quality of study why to focus on quantity do that much study which is required again to climb the wall of neat examination so please avoid unnecessary stuff whatever your teacher guides you focus on that and then you see how you get successful not over here only even for future if i say beta once even you become uh, you you just cross this neat examination you pass the exam and then even when you go to a medical colleges then also beta avoid unnecessary things just focus on what is required and try to memorize them try to recall them try to remember them so that your time is also saved and your work is also done right so these first three mistakes i hope you are not going to commit next says not choosing the right study material again it is related to the third point itself beta you should know what you have to study irrespective of going uh, everywhere searching for the study material searching specially internet see internet is okay but all the time relying on the information given on internet is also very harmful please rely more on books please rely more on your teachers please rely more on ncert than internet unnecessary material unnecessary unnecessary study stuff should be again avoided because beta these thing mislead you these thing takes you away from your main track you feel that you are studying you think that no i am giving time i am looking into the books i am going to the internet i am doing research i am giving time to my studies but actually it is a study in disguise you feel you are studying but actually it is of no use so try to study well try to study which is required but which is guided by your experienced teachers see teachers know that what is important and what is not important and accordingly they deliver you the lecture so yes take the experience take the advantage of the experience of your teachers see what they are teaching you see what they are guiding you just focus just follow the path which is shown by your teachers by your mentors i will say and then see how you get successful yes or no do you all agree with this okay very good next point is beta previous year question papers analysis of last 10 to 15 year question paper is again very very important make sure that once your complete syllabus is done you are solving in there are different publications which are giving you last 10 year 15 year question papers in one book buy such books even if you don't want they are easily available on the internet use internet for this purpose right even you can use technology in your studies for good purpose not for misleading you not for uh, what to say not uh, don't use internet or other stuff which misleads you which misguides you use internet for good purpose like 
yes you can search the last year question papers asked in neat and other competitive examination try to solve them in specific time limit because you know in neat examination there is specific time limit so please try to give examination try to solve those papers in specific time limit limit and see how much you are able to deliver like this you will come to know that in how much deep water are you floating in yes or no in hindi there is one kahavat ki uh, in uh, ki hum kitne gehre pani mein hai that means in how deep water are you floating in right so please try to analyze yourself with the help of some previous year question papers as well as you can solve more and more questions from different books from your modules which are given to you from the uh, I, i would say from the dpps which are given to you on daily basis yes you can analyze your knowledge by them next important is don't avoid test papers see here almost in 15 days you get the test papers you get the dpps so don't need to avoid them please try to solve the test appear for test as much as possible very important lack of focus i know my 90% of the students are suffering from this disorder this is a disorder it's not a disease it is basically a disorder by the name lack of focus students are not able to focus on their studies because ma'am when we open the book i am thinking about this movie i am thinking about what mummy is cooking in the kitchen i am thinking about that what papa is going to bring back from the office and because of such stuffs going in my mind i am not able to focus focus is the main problem of so many students beta if you are also suffering from this disorder that is lack of focus then i would suggest you start meditating in a day at least for 15 minutes try to concentrate your brain try not to think about anything which is happening around you around the world just simply sit in a room close your eyes and try to relax your brain like this you will have a command on your brain this is meditation meditation beta has helped me a lot see this is my personal experience which i am sharing you so i would also like to tell you that meditation is the best medicine to relax your brain to heal your brain and also to bring your brain under your control so make sure if you are suffering from this disorder then you start meditating then you see the results then you see how you can command your brain last point again very very important stop hesitating while sharing your problems your teachers are your friends if you consider them in a right manner right and please please do not hesitate in sharing your troubles in sharing your problems because once you keep your problems and you do not tell to anybody then those problems they start piling up and it becomes a heap it becomes a mountain of problem and then once the problem become a mountain then you start avoiding it then you start trying to adopt some other path try you just then you start thinking about shortcuts okay this living world chapter is very difficult oh god this sexual reproduction is very difficult i cannot study then what you start doing okay let's avoid this chapter only two questions will come i'll manage okay let's study next chapter oh god genetics is so tough i cannot do okay three questions two five questions okay i'll manage in chemistry if even if five questions in botany i'll get less i'll manage in zoology or chemistry this should not be done this is called as shortcut you if you are facing trouble in any of the chapter in any of the question share it don't hesitate you should tell your problems you should post your problems in the comment section so that as teachers we can help you we can guide you and we will ensure that your problems do not become mountains 
and you should and as teacher at least i will ensure that you do not go for any shortcuts shortcuts in life are of no use there is only one path to reach to the success that is a straight path no shortcuts if you start taking shortcuts you will be lost somewhere but you will not be reach you will not be able to reach to your goals so if students if you really want to reach to your goal if you really want to achieve your dream colleges please ask students avoid all these mistakes and then you see how you succeed in your life i hope i am able to help you with this little bit information with this small video if yes then i'll be very very happy if still you have any trouble if still you feel that ma'am please discuss this point also write it in the comment section surely i would love to make a video on that as well so with this thank you for today see you in the classes